YouTube, what's going on, baby? Two Tone Sports here. We are going to do a UFC 284 preview and prediction. Main card only, but we're going to do a preview and prediction. We got Islam Makachayev versus Volkanovski. Belt versus belt. Okay. Pound for pound one versus pound for pound two. This fight is going to be nuts. So, that being said, before we get into this one, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification. 98% of you that watch this video are unsubscribed. Showing love is free on YouTube. So, please help me on my road to 1K subs. So. That being said, we're going to scroll down here. We're going to start off with Jimmy Crute versus Alonzo. All right, we're opening this bad boy up. If it decides to load, we're going to start off on the left. Jimmy, 12-3, and three, lost his last fight. He's from Australia. If you don't know, this fight is in Perth, Australia. They're going to go nuts. Nuts for their hometown boy. All right, 6'2 versus 6 foot, both coming in at the same weight. Alonzo's got the reach. Alonzo's got two inch reach. It's fine. All right, Jimmy Crute is going to look to land some takedowns early. This is my prediction for him. Going to look to land some takedowns early. All right, Alonzo, he's got the two inch reach on him. If Alonzo can land a big shot from the beginning, he stands a chance versus Jimmy. All right. Other than that, I don't know if he stands a chance. Jimmy's takedowns are going to be, I think, is going to be the deciding factor in this fight. If Alonzo can stop his takedowns, Alonzo wins this fight. If Jimmy lands the takedowns, wipes this easily. Wipes it easily. Okay? So, with that being said, we are, we're going to take Jimmy Crute. You can do minus 230, or I like 33% submission. I do like that. I honestly like Jimmy. Going the distance and winning by submission, I'm sorry, winning by decision, and... I think he has a takedown in every single round. Jimmy beats Alonzo, has a takedown in every single round, goes a distance, wins by um, decision. Look at his takedown. Takedown defense is good, but I think Jimmy takes him. Okay? So, moving on to the big boys. Justin Taffa versus Parker Porter. All right, Justin Tapa, also another one from Australia, has all five of his wins by knockout. All five of his wins by knockout. Former rugby player, throws absolute bombs. This guy puts everything into them. Five and three versus 13 and seven. One last fight, lost last fight. From the U.S., both six foot. Tapa has a little bit more weight on him. Reach right about the same. Leg reach, same thing. All right, Porter, all three of his UFC wins are by decision. All three of his wins are by decision. All right, I'm going to expect Porter here to try to take down Tafa in the beginning. As you can see, I know there's not many takedowns in the heavyweight division, so this number is a little skewed. Okay, but I genuinely think Justin Taffa, KO, second round. All right, I'm taking Taffa, minus 140, KO, second round. Moving on. <clears throat> Jack versus Randy Brown. All right, see this up here?
Jack is from Perth, Australia. I think it's going to play a huge, huge factor in this fight. They're going to go absolutely nuts. He's literally from that town. They're going to erupt when this kid walks out. Erupt, erupt every single thing he does in the ring. Love it. He got signed from the Contender Series in 2021. Since then, he won three straight fights, all first-round knockouts. Every one of them first-round knockouts. All right? Brown is on a four-fight four win streak. Brown, as you see here, is a wrestler. Look at his takedown defense. Very good. Okay? Very good. Let's see the odds here. We don't have odds for KO, whatever. Money line. Look at the landslide. All right, here's why. Oh, they have no uh, stats for him. That's interesting. All right, we're going to move on for that. All right, I have Jack. Not a first-round KO because I think Randy's going to keep his distance. Look at the reach difference here, okay? Look at the height difference. That's why Jack... Second round KO when he finally figures out his reach and his and his length. Jack, second round knockout when he finally figures out how to get inside on Randy. Big fight here, all right? Huge fight here. Featherweight interim title bout. Yair Rodriguez versus Josh Emmett. All right. Emmett has won five in a row, including a, including a split decision over Calvin Katar or Cater, however you want to say his last name. I say Cater. Some people say it differently. All right. Emmett has one of the lowest percentages in the division when it comes to accuracy. He's coming in at 37%. Look at that. That's miserable. I know 45 doesn't seem much higher, but trust me, that's a huge difference. All right? Also, Emmett, some of his fights turns into a punching bag. He takes a lot, a lot of hits. He does. Rodriguez, on the other hand, more accurate. All right? About the same output. Okay? About the same output. And... He has a better defense percentage, all right? But this is kind of where it could take a difference. Takedowns. He doesn't really shoot for them. His accuracy is 28%. Emmett, I genuinely think they're both going to stand up this entire fight. I don't I don't see it. I, I really I really don't I don't see it going to the ground at least for that long. Um but I'm gonna go with the underdog here. I'm taking Josh Emmett by decision. I don't know why I genuinely think he's got it. He is much shorter. But I just think he could take a little bit more damage than Yair. And I don't think it will phase him that much. I think Emmett is going to go the distance and get the win. Now. Here's the big boy. All right. Let me get you guys into this one. All right. Alexander Volkanovsky. He's pound for pound ranked in the UFC number one right now. Islam Makachayev in the UFC is ranked number two. This is the first time number one pound for pound ever fought number two pound for pound in men's. This is crazy. All right, you got 23 and one versus 25 and one. Both of them won their last fights. Islam's from Russia. Of course, Volkov is from Australia. Volkanovsky is Australian. You got 5'10 versus 5'6. All right. You got Islam with 15 pounds more on him. 
Alexander Volkanovsky used to be a rugby player, and he used to weigh over 200 pounds. For his size, he has incredible, incredible strength. Look at this. Islam has a 4-inch height, height difference on Volkanovsky. Volkanovsky has an inch reach on him still. Still. All right? So, we're going to start off with Islam here. Weighs more dominant. Dominant in wrestling. Look at his takedown average. 3.42. All right? 3.42, 23 and 1. His takedowns are dominant. Nobody has seemed to slow his takedowns yet. All right? Big thing here that I think it's to take note on, his coach Khabib, if you know UFC, you know Khabib. Khabib will not be in his corner for UFC 284. He will not be in his corner during this fight. Okay? I think what is a little underrated about Islam, he's very technical standing up. Do not downplay his striking ability. He is very technical standing up. Okay? Volkanovski is known for his hands. Yeah, he didn't land as much per minute because he takes everybody down. But look at his significant strikes percentage. Look, he takes no damage. Okay? Takes no damage. This number could be a little skewed because he's normally on the ground with them. But he takes no damage. All right? We're going to move on to Volkanovsky here. He's being disrespected by absolutely everyone right now. Nobody is giving him a chance. Nobody is giving him a chance. All right? His striking is incredible. It's out of this world. Okay? 6.79 landed per minute. That's crazy. He's held the belt for a while. That is crazy. Okay? He's got a ridiculous mix of fake kicks, movement. He creates amazing angles. And it's going to take Islam a little bit of time to figure out. All right? I think, Is I think Volkanovsky is much faster than Islam thinks and is going to anticipate for out of the start. I think if he can keep the pressure and the hands on Islam from the start, He's got a good chance, all right? And he is a phenomenal counter-wrestler. I'm going to tell you right now, Alexander Volkanovsky is not going to take down Islam. It's just not going to happen. Islam is definitely going to try to take down Volkanovsky. His counter-defense, his takedown defense is amazing. His scrambling ability is also amazing. I, I genuinely think... You're going to see the true test of his takedown defense in here. And he has a very, very good submission defense. All right? So, I hope they put out all the odds here. Of course, no odds here. Okay? Thanks, UFC.com. Shout out to you guys. Um, so, average fight time for Islam, nine minutes. Average fight time. For Volkanovsky, 16 and a half. Okay? I am going to take Islam Makachayev winner by submission in round two. Okay? He's going to hold the belts. He's the winner. He's walking out. Perth, Australia. He is taking the hometown kid's belt from him. Islam Makachayev is going to win second round submission. Okay? Either way, it's going to be an electric fight. All respect to Alexander Volkanovsky for even taking this fight. The reason he's taking this fight is to really just submit his legacy in the UFC. He wins this fight. He's in talks for the greatest fighter of all time. He wins this fight. I'm going to say it again. He is in talks with greatest fighter of all time. Okay? 
That being said, the fight is Saturday, February 11th, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is in Australia, okay? I genuinely think it's going to be a good fight. It's an underrated card, so I think it's worth the buy, especially just this fight alone, okay? So, thank you guys. Two-Tone Sports here. This is my preview and prediction for the main card. Um, if you guys like this, I will keep dropping them for every single UFC event, even fight nights. We got some bangers of cards coming up. All right? So, thank you again. Once again, showing love is free on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be dropping YouTube shorts during this entire event. Recapping them, discussing the fights. So, guys, as always, thank you for watching.